again, I hope you're living your best life today. Are you? Are you having a good day? That's what really, really matters is that you're having a good day, you're feeling good, and you're taking care of yourself, this planet, the animals and other people. Again, all at the same time, uh, eating your natural diet, right? Plant foods, of course. That's like I've said before, in the end, everybody wins when you eat plant foods. Because when we eat animal products, nobody wins. Nobody wins. When you eat dairy, meat, fish, eggs, any kind of animal product, you are not only contributing to the destruction of your body, you're slowly killing yourself that way, but you are have also contributed to the killing of the animal. The animal, the animal is no longer living. And then in the process of that, the environment takes a toll. This planet takes a toll. So in the end, who really won? Nobody, nobody won. But when we eat our plant foods, Everybody wins because when we eat fruits, vegetables, that actually creates homes for animals. You plant a tree, it's good for the environment. You plant the fruit tree, the plant, it's good for the environment, it's good for you, it's good for animals, it produces food for us and for animals. Everybody wins, everybody wins. So why not eat your plant foods? So that also leads me into another thing. You know how I think a lot of people would go would immediately go vegan at least plant-based if they saw exactly what was really happening because a lot of people see veganism animal rights people environmentalists and everything as fluffy foo-foo people as fluffy foo-foo people which that is a wrong perspective on people like that um that is i think judging a book by, book by its cover we don't want to do that um, but it also makes me think like, you know, they really need these people who um, are against others like that. They really need to take a step back and really see why. Why are they so strong hearted about it? Because obviously they know something that you don't. So that's why I think um, a lot of people, they need to see what's happening at animal uh, at animal butchery places and factory farms and everything and really see what happens to these animals, what we are actually doing to these animals, the mass production that we're bringing into existence of these animals and then how we process them. It's like they're, it's like they don't even have a life, which is so, 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 so wrong. And it just, it makes me think like, you know what, They're, that's a living being. Like, especially when you see how it is treated and the, to see what it's only used for, it's like, this is so totally wrong. And then you see the domino effect of that and how it affects you, how it affects, well, affected the animal, and then how it affects your environment as a whole. Oh my goodness, you would be traumatized by seeing what happens. And that's why I know when I went raw vegan, I went plant-based in August 2013. Right after the first month of me switching, I I went purely for health reasons, but I'm like, you know, I should really kind of see what really happens to the animals out there. Cause it wasn't really for, I knew it was for animal rights, but I did it purely for health reasons. And it just took me one, one look of one video that was, a, I'll never forget it too. I still remember the sounds. I still remember what I saw. And it was only less than a minute that I could get through because it was so horrifying. It was so horrific and it's traumatizing too. But that's what's happening. That's what's happening. And so I'm not only raw vegan, vegan, not only for myself, for my own health, but I'm, I'm for the animals too. It's for this environment. It's for other people too. And that's why I see myself part of the health community where I am strong on animal rights too because it's nothing to be joked about nothing to be messed around about with about because there is a lot going on out there and I think if people saw exactly what was going on they would say heck no I don't want no part of that and no no because if they saw if I wish they I wish they could see a picture of their insides as to what's going on the moment they have animal products, cooked foods and processed foods, the moment they have animal products, the moment it hits their tongue to the moment it exits out their body. 
so they can see what's what they're the damage they're doing to their body but then uh, then also see the damage that's going on in factory farms hear the sounds see what's going on and see how much your heart breaks and then see what all of that is contributing to to this world and how it's affecting you on a daily basis so I think once people see that and understand that and fully get a full heart full of it, then then they'll probably, you know, hopefully make a change. Alrighty guys, so remember to love being raw, vegan, plant-based, whole foods, whatever floats your little boats. Just remember to take care of yourself. Take care of yourself literally. You just know that everything's gonna be okay. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you, right? Right. So you know, you there's that saying you can lead a horse to water but you can't make it drink. So God can lead you to what's right, can lead you to health and healing, but you have to take the steps, and I know you can do it. So put a big old smile on your face today. I hope I did that for you guys, and I will see you next video, okay? Bye, everyone.